Hi everyone, this is Callie. Thanks so much for being here with me today. I am sharing a fun project. It's a modified box card pop-up and it's gonna be in the form of a strawberry market basket. Super fun and this product collapses and fits inside an A2 sized envelope. So before we get started, I just wanted to show you what that box looks like and what it looks like collapsed inside the envelope. So to construct our little market basket, I'm using the scallop box card pop-up die. I'm gonna modify this box card just a little bit so we can turn it into a little market basket. And then we'll be using some strawberry products as well. I'll be using some foliage and flowers from the outside in stitched strawberry as well as the stitched strawberry frame dies. And then the majority of the strawberry images are gonna be from the strawberry patch dies. So I set that aside and we're gonna work on the construction of our box first. So as you can see here on the scalloped box card pop-up, the scalloped edge, um, we aren't gonna be using that. It's intended to cover up your entire box and the flaps open for kind of a, like an explosion box um, if you are to use this die the way it's intended. But I only want the bottom portion of the box, so I'm gonna go ahead and just die cut the bottom portions of the box card die only, and then I'll trim off what I don't need from the top portion of this die cut. So as you can see here, I have the bottom of the box and I've die cut two pieces from Mermaid cardstock, and I've also die cut two inserts as well in the same cardstock color. Now we have the ice cream you scream set, and I thought that little popsicle stick is gonna be perfect for adding those little basket details. If you don't have this, you can just use little strips of cardstock. I just liked this for the rounded tops, and I thought that was the perfect look. Okay, so I'm just adding a bit of shading here using some peacock dye ink from Lawn Fawn, and I'm adding a very, very faint amount of ink at the top of the boxes just to give the box a little bit of dimension and shape. I also wanted to add a lip to the top of my box. So this piece of cardstock strip is a half inch by the full length of a standard size cardstock. So it's 11 inches long. And then I measured the distance between the score lines on my box bottom so that I can score my strip to match. So it's three and a quarter and then two and a quarter. So I'm gonna score at two and a quarter first because I really want the front of the box to be seamless. So wherever the lip ends, it's gonna be in the back of the box. I hope that makes sense. And then I'll flip that and score it at two and a quarter on the other end, and that should match all the way around. I hope that's not too confusing, but it'll all make sense when we put the box together in a little bit. Okay, so we have all of the parts for our box. Now I just need to add adhesive to all of the little adhesive tabs and then put this box together. I'm scoring and burnishing all of the score lines from the die cut. You can probably make this box by using some strips of paper and scoring, but using the die really just takes out all the guesswork for me and everything is pre-scored, so it's really handy. Okay, so I've added some strong double-sided adhesive on all of those adhesive tabs. Now I'm just gonna put my box together. I've lined everything up on my grid mat, and as you can see, I'm not gonna put the box together yet. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my inserts in there, making sure that everything lines up perfect. I'm adhering the tabs on the left to the box, and then I'm gonna fold them to the right, make sure they're flush with the top of the box, and then I'll remove all of the adhesive, then use the flap on the right to fold it over and make sure that everything is perfectly flat and secure on my table, my glass mat, before I adhere everything down, and you should get a perfectly flat box. Now we're gonna adhere that box slip that we created. So all of the score lines, like I said, is gonna wrap all the way around the box and help us create our lip for the box. I'm gonna use the 1 8 inch double-sided tape this time. That way I can just adhere just the bottom portion of the box slip. I guess you can make it flush with the box top. I don't know why I didn't think to do that, but anyway, this works too. So I'm just adding some double-sided tape and then wrapping that strip of paper all the way across the top, and there we have the box lip. Okay, so now I'm gonna add those little detailed um, panels that I die cut using the Ice Cream You Scream popsicle stick dies and you don't have to be perfect with this I thought I would just go ahead and mark the center and then make two little markings for the side pieces so this detail just adds a super fun look to our little strawberry basket and I'll just go ahead and do that to the back of the box as well so that we get a uniform look all the way around the box 
Now that this box is created, I can go ahead and set that aside and work on the strawberry elements so that we can piece it all together, get it all ready to go, and then we can construct our little strawberry basket. I've gone ahead and die cut everything off camera, and so I have a bunch of foliage and strawberries that we're gonna be ink blending and adding some details to to make our basket of strawberries come to life. So I'm using some jalapeno ink, and I've used cilantro cardstock, and I'll ink blend all of the foliage stems as well as the strawberry tops in that same jalapeno color. Next, we have these little white blooms here. I'm just gonna keep them white because I feel like there's a lot of color around the box, so the white's really gonna stand out. I also die cut the little stamens in the center using some glitter gold cardstock. And now we have some strawberries here. There's the backing in white, and then I've die cut the strawberries themselves using some ballet slipper cardstock. And I wanted to add some yellow and orange for the little seeds that are gonna pop through. So I've used some Copic markers because that's just easier than die cutting a bunch of colored cardstock. So once I've added those details, we can go ahead and start ink blending these little strawberries. I'm starting with guava ink and I'm adding a light blend of color towards the bottom of each strawberry and blending up towards the center at the top with a lighter feel. And then I'll switch over to chili pepper ink. It's a darker red that's really gonna intensify and add shading to these strawberries. And once I'm done adding all of that color, I can go ahead and piece together these strawberries. I'm using some liquid glue on the strawberry pieces and then adding them to the Copic colored backing. So that way you can kind of see the yellow seeds pop through with a bit of orange. That just gives it a bit more interest. And then uh, last but not least, we'll just piece the strawberry stems over those strawberries. And now we can start decorating our box. I'm using the two larger stems at the back of the box. So I'm just situating them so that they're a little bit off centered a little bit so that there's more interest and then I'll use these strawberries to adhere them in various places and I wanted one to sit a little higher up so I'm going to be using a piece of acetate that I'm going to cut here it's kind of hard to see on camera but I'm just using some little strips and I end up only using one so I've added some double sided adhesive on that and then adding my strawberry to the top. For more stability, I decided to add some glue and adhere those two strawberries together just so that they're touching a tiny little bit. And I'm doing the same thing to this last strawberry here. I'm gonna make sure that they are touching and adhere together so that there's a lot more stability and sturdiness to that row of strawberries on that one insert. And then I'll apply the rest of the foliage and just fill up this basket and make it look a little bit more full. I contemplated making more strawberries, but I didn't wanna overcrowd this box. So I think this is a good amount. And then last but not least, I'm gonna add those little blossoms all over. And the last few, I have some extra blossoms, so I decided to add them on the outside of the box. Now at this point, I wanted to test my box and make sure that it fits inside an A2 sized envelope. It could be a little bit higher, so that's why I'm testing. And I've put it in and I see that I can't close the top of my envelope. So I'm gonna have to trim my box, but it works out because I think the proportions are a little bit better once I trim my box down a little bit. I stuck the whole thing in my trimmer and just chopped about a half inch off, and now it's perfect. Then to finish the card, I'm using a sentiment from the How You Bean Strawberries add-on damp set. And I've gone ahead and stamped and embossed the sentiment in white over some black cardstock. And I added some fishtails at the end of my sentiment strip to give it a more decorative end. And then I'll adhere that over my card box. And as you can see, now it fits inside an A2 sized envelope just perfect. And once the recipient opens this envelope, they'll find a little market strawberry basket pop-up card and it's so much fun. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're interested in any of the products that I use, be sure to check out the links below and as well as the coordinating blog post where all the details will be provided for you. Thanks again for stopping by and have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye.